Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm so glad you're here. Today I have a thrift haul uh, from Goodwill and Salvation Army. And I also have some goodies from Hobby Lobby that I picked up. And I actually found some really good clearance deals on paint that I was pretty excited about. So let's get started. So I have a bunch of stuff strewn out here and hopefully I have prices on everything and I can tell you what the prices were as I purchased them and where I got them from. I think I remember. It was last week so I've been slowly picking stuff up and um, I got a pretty good haul I think. Let's start with this great big giant uh, container here. This thing is pretty cool. This was $3.99 at the Salvation Army, and this is gonna be in an upcoming video, uh, farmhouse decor video that I have coming up here pretty soon. It's a collaboration, Farmhouse Fabulous, I believe it's called. Uh, and it's not this week, but I think it's next week or the week after, not sure, but it is coming up. So you're gonna see a little uh, thrift flip with this guy here into Farmhouse. All right, and this was from Goodwill. This was a dollar. Very cute little picture. I really, really like it. I think it's very pretty, but it's definitely not my style. So I'm definitely going to be doing something with that. And then here's another picture that I really loved. I got this at Salvation Army. This was a dollar ninety-nine. Very cute little picture. The bottom says home on it. So it's from home. I don't know what that is, but um, I really like it. And I think it would be beautiful, maybe with a stencil on the side and some flowers coming out of the top. So sweet that would be. I would love to do something with that. So I had to pick that up, even though it's not really my primitive style. I also like farmhouses, other stuff that I like. Primitive is in my heart, but I also like, I can appreciate the other kinds of decor as well. So we're gonna go with a little farmhouse decor with this probably. I'm not gonna paint it up or anything like that, but uh, for $1.99, I couldn't pass this cute little picture up. So cute. Okay, this is adorable. It's all tagged up or taped up and stuff, but this was $3 at the Goodwill, and it's a little uh, cloche. It's a little dome with the glass bottom on it, and I thought it was so sweet that I had to get it, and I'm gonna do something with that coming up here as well. So cute. Okay, here's another. I was on a pitcher, I guess, kick because I got a lot of pitcher stuff. This was from Goodwill as well. This was $3. It says, totally my cup of tea. So, so pretty. I love the dark stained little uh, uh, handle at the top and the the little detailed decor around here. So I thought that was really sweet. I'm not gonna do anything with this. I do have a booth now and I think I may clean this up, take the tape off obviously and clean it up and stick it in my booth. There's absolutely that I can tell nothing wrong with this. I don't see any chips or anything like that. So I think it would be really cute in my booth to add some pop of white in there, a little bit of brightness and with my primitive decor. Now here's another one. I've gotten these before. Now this is a uh, bed riser. It's to lift up your bed a little bit more. If you guys see this, these are really great pieces of wood to use uh, as risers, as all kinds of things. It's got this cutout in it and I think, um, I think it's supposed to go this way and the foot of your bed is supposed to go in here and it rises it up for you. I've done these up before and put stuff on top and had it go this way because you already have the built-in feet and you can do all kinds of things. You can paint it up, you can stamp it, um, you can add things to it. I got this uh, at Goodwill for a dollar. I think this was a dollar as well at Goodwill uh, and you know you can make a nice little riser, paint this bottom up and it would look so so cool. So um, yeah there was one of these there so I grabbed them. These usually come in a four piece because usually you have four legs on your bed but somebody must have bought up what they wanted or something but I grabbed this one because I was like yes I could really use this guy and it's a big chunk of wood like it's actual wood so it's pretty cool. So yeah I got this as well. This is just a plain white. It says edible at the bottom. I got for three dollars at the Goodwill no top on it or anything like that, but I thought it would be really pretty 
as um, you know flowers at the top you could even put a stencil on it or something like that and I just thought it had potential so I picked it up this guy was so cute I got a life-size little tub of these at the dump one time and I use it to plant my carrots in usually in my garden and it's a big huge huge tub but this is just a little guy it's so sweet and I think it would look so pretty with some little lavender plants in it just a little little tall you know short little lavender plants or something like that and this was only a dollar and it's a little bit misshapen it's got a little bit of issues with it um, I think it can just be pushed back into place but for a dollar I thought this was a sweet little tin that can be used for so many things. So also at Goodwill, I found all of these strainers that I just had to get. So this one is a metal strainer. It was $3. It's got the little feet on it. They're like little rubber feet. It had like some kind of a pinkish red peel uh, coloring on it or something and it's coming off. So I'm hoping that I can take something and get that off and either keep the color the same or rust it up or paint it black I'm not sure but it already came with the feet I mean it's already halfway done right it has a handle so I I don't know I just thought it was really cool and with the feet on it I think it would make a really cool centerpiece on a table or something in the kitchen with some flowers in it or something like that or a plant this one is some kind of a fry basket it's just a teeny tiny little guy but I like it because this little handle comes right off and one part of this metal sticking up is broken off. So I'm wondering if I work on this part, I might be able to break it off and it would be a nice something to put some plants in or keys or, you know, put it by the door for sunglasses or something like that. You can put it on a um, candlestick or something to that effect. I have this candlestick here that I got for $3 at Goodwill. You know, and if you can affix it to something like that and make it stand up, I think it would be really cool. So this was uh, this was a dollar at the Goodwill, so I had to pick it up. I also got this one. This one's really cool. This was only a dollar as well. It's got the two handles on the side and a little metal ring on the bottom. This would be great also on some kind of a pedestal or a, a candlestick or spindle, whatever you can find and put plants in it or greenery or something like that and I think it would be really cool. It needs to be cleaned up because I can see that it's kind of nasty but I'm going to run it through the dishwasher and um, I'm going to figure something to do with it. I don't know yet but I had to get it for a dollar. It's definitely something that I could do with it. So I took a trip by the wood stuff at the Salvation Army. These were 99 cents. One of the little uh, paddles. I think you um, I use the hole to measure out your spaghetti or something like that. I think that's what that is. And then this just wooden spoon, but I'm always picking these up. You can keep them the way they are, or I've painted them up and distressed them before and looked very old and primitive. I've taken and put in, um, hardening clay on them, and I put a rooster on one of mine after I painted it. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with these, or you could just leave them plain. You could sand them, restain them. They're great for decor sticking out of a vase or something that you have in your kitchen. Just like that just to decorate a little bit so I got this uh, thankful tray it says thankful on both sides it's a very cute wooden tray I love the gray coloring on it actually uh, but I don't know if I will keep it that way this I got for three dollars and it's got the cute little uh, jute rope uh, handles on the side or a little little ties that I thought were very cute you know and this would look really nice with some stuff in it or even some greenery or something like that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this but I really liked it I was thinking about putting some feet on it painting it up and using it as a you know center of the table tray for a small table or on an island you could use it in a bathroom put uh, jars in it of your cotton balls and your your uh, cotton swabs and you know whatever you choose to use. But anyway, I thought it was a very cute little tray and I couldn't pass it up for $3. So another thing that I found was this really pretty jar. I love all the little bumps all over it. It's very pretty. The, the light shines through it. It just looks so neat. This was a dollar at the Goodwill. So I had to pick that up. And when I went down the metal section, they had this thing. And I remember seeing it last 
time I was in there. This was $3 and I thought, well, the glass isn't even in there. They'd found this pretty little jar. So I said, I wonder if that will fit. And guess what? It fits. And it actually looks very cute. I don't think it actually came with it, but it was for $4 for the two together. I think that was a great deal. It's very cute. Just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And maybe uh, a candle, some pit berries, a homespun tie on it. And it would be a very cute primitive decor piece for your home. I really like it. So I also found this cute metal star. This has been there for a while, but this was marked down to a dollar. Uh, I think it was three last time I was in there because I would have picked it up if it was only a dollar. But I love these metal candle holder stars. They can either be hung up on the wall or you could lay them flat and put your candle in there. It's great primitive decor. So I had to get that. And then I saw this. Uh, this is was actually in a holder that had that was metal and this was in there with it and it goes like this and you put your candle in but i've seen people flip them over and make cloches out of them so it would be perfect i did pay three dollars for this but i think it would be so cute so you could just tick it on something not necessarily on this but you could just something like that and it would make a beautiful little cloche with a little bird's nest in there with a little bird and some eggs or just some eggs or any kind of little vignette you want to do in there. I think it would be so cute. So I think last but not least for my uh, decor that I picked up at Goodwill and Salvation Army, I got this at Salvation Army. This was $3.99, but it's a nice wood board. I'm not really in love, obviously, with the polka dotted welcome sign and the goose, although they were cute in their time. Not really my style, but I did like this board. So I'm thinking if I can take this apart, do something different on here. I think it would be really, really cool. And it's got already got the hanger on it. So for $3.99, I think it was definitely worth buying it just for the board. I actually have two more things that I thrifted, but I've already started working on them. I have a collaboration video coming out on Thursday, Thrift Flip Thursday. And it is going to be fun and you're going to love it. So I've started on that already and I've already used some of the things here. So I'll, in, I'll put a video or a little video clip or a picture right here so you can see what it looked like before. And I'll definitely show it again in the next video that comes out on Thursday. But I can't show it to you now because I've already started the two of them. Uh, and so I can't show you that yet, but wait till Thursday. Okay, so for the stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby, I got uh, some natural jute. It's a darker color. They have the lighter. They have actually three different colors of jute. This was only $3.99 for 400 feet, and I want to say it was 40% off, so that's why I picked it up. I usually buy it off Amazon. I have some that I really like on there uh, of the small stuff and the big stff but this was the three three ply. They have different plies of jute, if you didn't know. Um, and so this is the three ply. So it's kind of a smaller, skinnier, so it will be great for tags and things like that, which I'm thinking about doing a video on some, some tags. And of course, I couldn't get out of there without purchasing a few of these really cute lilac uh, little bushes. These were $1.99 but I believe I got these 40% off. So uh, I got three of these just for a small, you know, all these little small decor that I've been picking up. I thought they would be very cute either in my booth or just to add something to, um, you know, a cute little white piece like that. I think it would be so pretty. So I wanted to pick those up and use those for that. I also got some lighter colored ones. These were $1.99. These are from the His and Hers, and these were 40% off as well. They're just such a sweet, soft lavender color compared to the darker, um, more vibrant. And I just thought the softness of that was just so beautiful. So I got a couple sprigs of that to do something with as well. I'm going to try it out and see what I think of that. So I know that at Dollar Tree, there is uh, a roll of chicken wire that you can buy, and I can't get it at my store unless I buy it online and I have to buy a bunch of rolls of it, which is fine because I would probably end up using it. But where I actually have chickens here, we live off grid, if you didn't know, and I actually have some chickens here, and I have a lot of leftover chicken wire. But it's hard to get the actual chicken wire 
that you can buy in the store for your chickens to to manipulate it and actually figure out how to get it cut so that it doesn't fall apart and stuff like that. So I bought one of these at the Hobby Lobby as well. This was $4.99 and I actually paid up for this. It's got the little ends on it that finish it off, whereas if you use regular chicken wire, they're not finished off. And if you cut them so they are, they kind of they kind of fall apart a little bit and they get little jagged edges and they're sharp. So I just thought this was really cute. I, I like the, the width of it. So this is going to be used in something. I don't have any ideas yet, but I know I will eventually. I'll have an idea on what to do with this. So um, so that's going to be pretty cool. I bought some more E6000. I've been using a lot of that. So I like to stay stocked up. That was $4.99 and I think that's what the cost was. Actually, there was no sale on that one. Uh, this was a really cool deal. I went down the embroidery aisle, I believe it is, and these are Artist Vintage Shop, Vintage Shop Towel Set. And they are the red grain sack stripe on them. And I wasn't going to purchase them. I thought they were pretty, but I wasn't going to purchase them until I picked them up and turned them around. They were $1.99. I got them on uh, reduced price for $1.99 for two tea towels. So I thought that was really great. They do have a little bit of dirt on the back here, but I think I can get those off. But as I picked these up, I said, oh, I've got to get these for $1.99. If not, just use them in my kitchen. I could actually do a decor with them. So while I was in that same section, I found these cute little holders. They're so sweet. They are called, let me, let me read it out for you, Needle Art Hanger. They're 7.9 inch by 3.5 inch, and they were $2.99. So they're the, in the Needle Art uh, section of Hobby Lobby. So they're just beyond, in my Hobby Lobby, which I would assume they're all pretty much the same, they're just beyond the fabric area, just beyond that up towards where the picture frames that they do would be. But I think I can take these and hang these on here. Now I can either do a stencil or I can do some kind, something on these to decorate them up and attach this or affix this to, to a board or something. I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. It's in my head. It's, it's percolating. It's getting there. But I think I can, and I bought two of them so that for each towel so that I can do some kind of decor with these because I think they would be so pretty. I just love the design on these towels. And for $1.99, I mean 99 cents per towel just about, um, plus tax, pretty good deal to me. So I got this stack of wood pile blocks. These were three 49 and I don't believe they were on sale. I had an idea of what to do with these. Uh, I have made the spindle lantern hangers and I usually cut out my own pieces of wood to put down for the bottom and the top. I was thinking of trying these out instead. I'm not sure if they'll be heavy enough. So I haven't opened them. I haven't done anything with them. If I don't use them for that, I think I will I think I'll figure something out. But these are the rectangle ones. They're three by five. Yeah, three by five, four pack. And again, they were $3.49. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen that video on my spindle lantern hangers or holders, I will put a link down in the description for you to check it out because I just love these. And I have not seen anything like that before. You see the big ones that you can put you know, next to your door or just outside or something like that. These are smaller that would go on a shelf. I've made and sold a lot of these throughout the years and I'm just trying to find something that would streamline it a little bit better so I can use up some of the spindles I have downstairs and um, maybe this these would work. I'm not sure yet if they're heavy enough to hold it, but they might be. So I got some paint as well. Um, the folk art paint, this was $11.99, but it be I believe it was 30% off. So I got the multi-surface. Um, this is pure black because I use a lot of black in my primitive decor. So, and also for stencils, you know, stamps, whatever. So I got that because it was 30% off and I got a big bottle. If, believe it or not, I've never used folk art paint. So I'm pretty excited to try it. I see a lot of uh, other creators using it. Uh, this one should be um, should be awesome. The coverage seems like it's really good, so I'm excited to use that. This one is called Delta Sur Sur Serum Coat. This is Christmas Green. It was $2.49 for the 16-ounce 
so it was on a reduced price tag. The original cost was $9.99, so I saved quite a bit by buying that. I don't use Christmas green a lot, but I do mix my paints. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I mixed a green and a light, light gray together and came up with this really, really pretty, like, sagey green that I just love. I used it in my DIY primitive, uh, DIY spring decor video, and I'll link that down below as well uh, with a picture frame and a candlestick and things like that. So I'm pretty excited to use this. I've never used this brand before either. Should be okay. So last but not least, in my Hobby Lobby haul, I got this folk art uh, acrylic paint. This is the mushroom. So it's a light, light brown. That is a really pretty color. And again, I haven't used folk art before, so I thought that I would try it out. That's the color on the top there. You can see it a little bit better. But um, I thought this was a really pretty color. I think it would be a great accent color for a lot of my projects. I didn't see a big bottle of this, like the black paint that I bought. So I bought a smaller one because I want to try this color out as well. And kind of out of the Hobby Lobby, Goodwill, Salvation Army thing, I went into Dollar Tree recently and I found these cute little chunky birds. Have you seen those at the Dollar Tree? They're so precious. I just love them. They're all like, they've got little uh, bumps on them. Kind of like, it reminds me of a golf ball. It's very shiny, but I think if it got painted or even sprayed with the flat matte spray paint, the clear paint, or the clear spray, I think it would look really cute. Just matte colored instead of shiny, or even painted up with some white. However you want to do it, it all depends. But I just thought these cute little birds, I got two of these, were so sweet. I love the chunky little birds. But this was only a dollar, well, it was a dollar twenty-five because it's the it's one twenty-five now at the Dollar Tree. So that's it for my thrift haul, but I do need your help if you can help me out. I found these springs, these old springs on our property. It was an old truck bed or a car bed that got dumped years and years ago before we were even here. We were cleaning up some of the sides of the driveway and I found a pile of these and a bunch of them are still connected. They still have a bunch of things like this on them, which I will clean up eventually. Um, a lot of them have roots and dirt grown in them so that I need to really, really clean them out. So I'm waiting for a warm day outside so that I can do that. But I need some ideas, guys, on what to do with these. I have some of my own ideas, and I have used them like this and put, uh, I think you've seen maybe in some of my decor, I've used some Spanish moss with a little raffia tie on it just to give, you know, just to add to your decor. But I need some ideas. So the only way I can think of finding out these ideas that you might have, you can post pictures on my Facebook page repurpose my way. If you go over there, I believe you can go on and post pictures. So if you have any ideas on what I can do with these, something that you've done or something you'd like to see, I would really like some ideas on what to do with these, some different ones. I've seen a lot of them on Pinterest and I think they're all super great. There was one that I saw that had was a wreath and they took them and they put them all around the wreath and then they put flowers every other or maybe in the middle, I can't remember. But I really like that one. I thought that one was really cool. These are uh, pretty tall. I don't know, I would say six or seven inches tall. And then I have some little pieces like this as well. These little short, short guy pieces. And these would be great for decor as well. So I'm not going to vote those out. I also like the bird nests with the little bird or the little eggs in it. I think those are awesome. So those would be something that I could do as well. But I'm looking for something totally different, out of the box, something nobody's ever seen or maybe thought of but didn't want to try. I don't know. I, you guys are really creative out there. I'm thinking that maybe you could help me out. So down in the description box is my Facebook page link. That's the only way that I can think of that you can link some pictures or post some pictures so that I could see them. So if you wouldn't mind, if you happen to have any ideas or something maybe you've done, snap a quick picture and put it in there. And if I use it, obviously I will give you the credit. Um, I think it is really exciting to kind of think up new ideas for these. And I have a ton of them, guys. I have a ton. I may uh, put these on my website to, to sell just, just these themselves. 
Uh, there's several that are together like this, and then I, ha I do have several that are the, um, you know, parts and pieces like this one, but still usable. So let me know what you think. Go on over to Facebook and post some pictures, and I would love to meet you over there. Give me a like on that page and post some pictures and ideas of things that I could do with these. If you like this thrift haul, there will be a link right over here that you can check out if you want to see some more. Don't forget to go down and check out the description below. My Etsy shop's there, uh, my Facebook page, my Instagram. Hit me up, check me out, and thanks for watching. Take care.